Hi everyone, it's good to see you again. Can you give me a big shout, a big hello? <laughs> I've got a story for you today from the big Bible storybook. But before we do that, I've got a game to play and there's someone I need to introduce to you. Where's my timid lion? Timothy, where are you? Oh, oh, you're there! Oh, hello, how are you? You all right? Yes, good. Are you ready to play our game with the boys and girls? Oh, come on, Tim, you can do it. Yeah? Yay! Thank you, Timothy. So, our game is a bit like hide and seek. You've got to guess where Tim is going to poke out from. Let's do a practice. So he's going to hide and then we're going to sing a little song and then you're going to point to where you think he's going to come out and then suddenly he's going to go peekaboo. Where is he? Where's he gone? Right, do you get the idea of the game, Tim? Yes? Okay, good. Right, let's sing our little song. It goes like this. Where is Timothy? Wish I knew. Where is Timothy? Wish I knew. Where is Timothy? Wish I knew. One, two, three, and peekaboo. Oh, where was he? Oh, <laughs> there he is. Did you guess the right place? One more time. Are you hiding again? That's it, go on then, you go and hide. Well done. Where is Timothy? Wish I knew. Where is Timothy? Wish I knew. Where is Timothy? Wish I knew. One, two, three, and peekaboo. Oh, no! <laughs> You're that side this time. Oh, thanks for your help, Tim. You might be thinking, what has that got to do with the story in the Bible? Just wait and see. You'll find out after the story. So our story today is called A Man Who Needs Help. Tim, you can come and listen over my shoulder if you like. You can look at the pictures. There we go. <laughs> so a man who needs help. An important man went to see Jesus. The man was very upset. Please help me. He begged, my son is very ill. I don't want him to die. Please, can you come and make him better? That's the picture. There we are. Don't worry, your son won't die, Jesus told the man. Go back home and see him. The man began to walk home. It was a long way. But before the man arrived at his house, he saw some of his servants running to meet him. Your son is better, they said, smiling. When did it happen? The man asked. Yesterday, lunchtime, the servant answered. Suddenly, your son was just well again. That's exactly the time I asked Jesus to help me, the important man told them. Jesus promised that my son would get better. Now I believe that Jesus is amazing. He has the power to help people. And there's the picture of the little boy, all better. And his dad looks really pleased. Oh, did you want to see as well, Tim? Right, look, look, there's the picture. Can you see? Yeah, he's all better. Now, in that story, we can tell that the dad really loves his son. He doesn't want his son to be ill, does he? And he certainly doesn't want his son to die. And, you know, God cares for us like that too. He absolutely loves us and wants to help us. But we can't see God, can we? But did you notice that in this story, Jesus made the little boy better, even though he couldn't even see the little boy. He wasn't even in the same room as the little boy. When Jesus was a long way away, he was still able to make the boy better. And, you know, even though we couldn't see Timothy when he was hiding behind the chair, can you hide again? We still know that he's there, don't we? Because then he pops out again. Oh, hello. <laughs> So even though we can't see Tim, we still know that he's there. It's like that with God. We can't see him, but we still know that he's there because of the things that he does and the way that he answers our prayers and the way that he loves us and tells us about his love in the Bible. Good, isn't it? Right, shall we say a prayer now? Would you like to bow your head as well? That's it, right. Let's just say a quick little prayer. 
God, thank you that you love us even more than that important man loved his son. Thank you that you are always with us even though we cannot see you and that you still want to help us even if we can't see you. Amen. That's it for today. There's some little things to do in the email and I should finish off by saying happy Valentine's Day. It's a day where we think all about love, isn't it? But do you know who loves us the most, even more than a Valentine? Yeah, it's God, isn't it? Yeah, he loves us the most. Right, bye for now, everybody. Enjoy the rest of Valentine's Day. Hopefully see you soon.